Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I'm a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. Now, I'm really excited because lately we've been going back into the past and listening to some bands that pretty much set the foundation for rock and metal music to what it is today. And I'm very excited because I've been getting a lot of suggestions from older bands, but one in particular we haven't touched yet is Led Zeppelin. I'm really, really excited because I know this is a household name. I have heard this name everywhere, but it's finally time to sit down and give them a listen with y'all together. I'm so excited to press play on this one, but before we get started today, if you do enjoy what you see here, please consider leaving a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss another video ever again. With that being said, let's get started with Led Zeppelin's Kashmir. I love the outfit so far. I love how he's getting into it. Okay, so far, uh, that riff is really, really good. Uh, I love how simple, uh, simple it is, but it's so damn catchy at the same time. And I also really, really enjoy his voice. Uh, I was expecting, I, I, I did think that they were more like intense um, this whole time. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I like how groovy this feels. Like this feels really calm and groovy. And I'm really digging this so much so far. But his voice is so incredibly unique. Uh, it has a really, really nice um, uh, tone to it. And you can just tell, like, I, I already on a first listen, I'm already like, okay, I could definitely pick him up out of a vocal lineup because it just has character. And I love that so much when a voice just has identity and you can just, like, pick it up uh, out of a lineup. Uh, but that's the greatest thing ever. But I think this is so damn groovy so far. I'm a little upset that it took me this long to listen. I know this is an older song. Um, this is, you know, the music that my dad grew up on. So it's really cool to, you know, see what, you know, inspired him. And now I'm, you know, listening to, you know, newer metal. And he's, uh, you know, was jamming out to older metal, but I think it's just so awesome to, you know, kind of like go full circle on this. Uh, but I think this is just so freaking great so far. And um, I'm really digging it. Uh, but let's continue. Double keyboard there. <laughs> I want to hear that one more time. That sounded really good. That's 
amazing i was kind of like a like a rock and roll scat um honestly i don't think i've heard that yet i've heard scatting and like you know jazzy type uh you know that style that genre and i really enjoy it but i've never heard like a rock and roll scat type you know sound before and that sounded so great i don't know if this was something that uh he coined or something that was going on in the 70s i'm also like diving you know back into the past and listening to older you know 80s thrash metal metal bands classic metal and now we're going into the 70s, even though this is very late 70s. But now I want to know who coined that that rock and roll scat because it's so damn cool and it's so fitting for this. I love how it's so, you know, groovy, even, you know, it's like nice and bassy and the drums, like everything is just, you know, so groovy. Like you can just close your eyes and just, you know, chill with this. But then it goes into that and it just gives you like that, like honestly, a little like a, a like a shock almost, which is so exciting. It keeps the song alive, but that is so fantastic. I want to know. Uh, his name, I want to know everyone in this, you know, band's name because I feel like I'm definitely missing out. This is definitely an iconic household name. Everybody and their mother is aware of Led Zeppelin, uh, but me apparently. Um, but now that we're diving into this, like I, I was not expecting this kind of sound. I honestly thought it was going to be a lot different. Um, but now I'm curious as to dive into more bands in this time piece. Uh, but this is so damn great. I'm really, really digging this. I... I kind of want to go back just a little because I want to hear a little bit more of of that like rock and roll scat because it just it was just so damn cool. So let's continue. drum is so it's so good so simple but clean so much how there's just so many different um instrumental changes we get a lot of different types of beats like the uh, uh the intro is now we're coming full circle and it seems like they're gonna bring it back again but then the guitar changes everything about it even like tiny little drum fills like everything about it is just so cool uh, i know it is a you know more of an old uh not older uh, a longer song usually songs and i did hear uh, a lot of people wanted songs to be shorter because they would get bored which i think is kind of madness because I love so much when a song is like 10, 15 minutes long uh, because they usually cram in a bunch of songs in one. So you get a lot of riff changes, a lot of song changes, a lot of vocal changes, um, some instrumental moments for the vocalist to kind of like, you know, get some water, relax a little bit. But all in all, 
I enjoy uh, longer songs more because I feel like they tell more of a story. Like you can't really tell all the stories you want to tell in three minutes or four minutes. Like sometimes it takes 10, 15, eight minutes and 55 seconds for you to tell your story because I mean, why not? It's art. It's a form of art. It's an outlet to like, you know, let out your emotions, let out your passion, let out all of your feelings and, you know, try to hope to transfer that to someone else, whoever is listening to it. But I love so much, you know, this time period, um, especially 80s, 90s, usually we got longer songs and I kind of miss that. Um, I kind of miss like, you know, Metallica having like a 10 minute song. Uh, but now it's kind of unheard of, which is a little sad because I get it. People are so on the go and they just want to, you know, if it doesn't catch them right away, they don't want to, you know, listen to it. If it's too long, it's like, okay, I'm already over it. But I think this is really special um, how we're getting so many changes in one song. And I think that's just so damn great. Um, but I, I rewinded just a bit because I loved that intro riff so much. And now that we're uh, going back to it, I feel like it's just a little exciting. So let's continue. <laughs> to make this at one point i have to do my you know pauses to appease the copyright gods here so i apologize um but what i'm really digging about this song a lot is it seems like they pick and choose when to allow each band member to have their you know moment to shine because it seemed very uh like simple riffs in the beginning and then you know it, it obviously changed and even um on the piano it seemed like it was like a, a double piano which i thought that was really cool um but also the drums the drums felt really simple really groovy it was keeping a nice uh clear easy tempo the entire time and now we're getting into kind of a little bit more of the drummer's time to shine and we're getting a little bit of the piano time to shine and the you know the bassiness and the guitars and of course his moments as well where he does a little bit he adds a little bit more of that rock and roll twang to his voice and 
I, I I love that so much that it's not giving you everything all at once and then it becomes everything becomes too cluttered. Everything here is so well thought out and spread out and you kind of just enjoy these little pockets from each, you know, performer. And they're also incredibly talented as well and I love that. I love that so much because I feel like people um tend to try to give you everything all at once, but just like this, they would give you like a little appetizer, a little sprinkle of what's to come. And then you get like a bridge and then a nice like ending. And I love that so much because it, it, it just makes you excited and it keeps you kind of invested. Um, also with all of the instrumental changes, you're kind of feeling like you don't know what to expect. And you're already, you're just like, you're kind of giddy. You're like a little kid on Christmas, just like, okay, what's coming next? What, what instrumental change or who's going to do what? And it just keeps you excited. Um, but I love that. And I miss that so much because I'm noticing that so much from older bands that new bands are kind of not doing anymore. It's just a lot of the same thing which is a little bit frustrating um with the exception of a lot of wonderful bands out there that are you know sticking true to the roots and being continuing to be really artistic but a lot of uh older bands who kind of set that foundation for rock and roll and metal you know truly i i just feel like i can hear the passion you know just through the strings um and the instruments like all of that you know i just i just feel that passion exuding and it's something that is really really special um but i think they're you know executing that so incredibly well and I'm, you know, so excited to hear what else Led Zeppelin has done because this is my first taste of them and I'm already so invested. I think that they're, you know, so passionate about their music and I'm so excited to see what else they have that I have, uh, you know, yet to explore with you guys. But I just really love that, especially with uh, that last little drum fill that we got there. That was just so damn cool. Um, but yeah, we're uh, about a minute left on this song, so I'm going to continue and <sighs> I'm, I'm really excited because I feel like I feel like we're going to have a good ending to this because thus far everything has been fantastic. So let's continue. I love the body language. Woo! Oh yeah. That felt personal. <laughs> I've ever heard a drummer finish with a gong before um yeah that was absolutely fantastic that was that was that was that was all over the place but in the most beautiful way possible uh so yeah i think it's safe to say that i'm now a fan of led zeppelin because all of this this felt like a lot this felt like a lot to put into one song um so many changes the drums i loved how it kind of like it was the dessert the cherry on top of the cake because i felt like it was so groovy drums were so groovy the entire time and at the end it just went completely nuts and it was fantastic that you know the way he was banging on his set felt so personal and I felt I, I I fell in love with that because I love nothing more when people play their instrument like you could just tell they are in love with that instrument that they're playing with like they're in love with the music they're in love they have so much passion you know for it and that's my favorite thing about people's uh whenever I'm watching their whenever I'm watching someone play with their instrument um but the vocals man uh, there's a lot to say about these vocals uh, again i love how he has such a clear vocal identity something you can definitely pick up out of a lineup i loved the scatting i loved that you know rock and roll twang it really felt like he was even you know feeling himself on that stage it was a body language honestly all of the guitars look like they were feeling themselves like they know they're just rock and roll gods and you know, they know that everyone in that crowd is looking up at them like they're legendary. And I love that. It's not even conceited. It's like they worked their way to get to their, you know, position, whatever position they were at at the time. And they, they pretty much earned it because whatever they put on that stage, it felt like they put it all out there for that crowd. And I thought this was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I have no, no, no bad things to say. Um, the only thing I just wasn't expecting, I was expecting, I thought it was, uh, I, this whole time I thought they were more like aggressive, um, but I'm having a feeling like there may be some songs out there that may be a little bit more aggressive, um, cause I did see that he has a really nice like distortion to his voice and I feel like he's gonna play around with that more uh, as I dive into them a little further, but all in all, fantastic voice, 
fantastic instrumentals and all together they made a really fantastic song and i'm so excited i'm so excited to dive in further with led zeppelin with y'all please let me know what other led zeppelin songs you would like me to listen to in the comments then of course if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss another video ever again but with that being said i also stream on twitch i stream every monday thursday friday and saturday at 2 p.m pacific standard time you can come hang out say hi introduce yourself we could get to know each other a little bit better on there. Other than that, I make music videos every single day, so stay tuned until tomorrow. I will see you very soon, but in the meantime, take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!